Hello everyone, this is my first YouTube video, so bear with me. Um, just wanted to show my um, solar can heaters um, that I built from scratch. Um, I built four 4x8 four um, solar can heaters with um, these three would be all together and then one here which was separate. Um, over here we have um, a one foot in diameter duct that goes in the the one side of the house um, with the damper on it and then the air would travel this way and then there's a damper and a fan on this side that will um, open up when it gets to about 80 or 90 degrees during the winter and then this one as well has a separate system um, it's actually pumped through my our floor um, we were lucky enough to have a perfect setup for this um, because we only have one floor and uh, and and uh, the the air is just pumped underneath the floor so it gets to every room pretty evenly um, that's one thing that I would not you know that that's a setback of these things is because once you install it you know on most houses the um, you can't disperse the heat evenly, so you're only basically heating one room, um, which is not ideal because your heater will still run if your thermostat isn't kicking out. So it's almost like, you know, you're getting one room super hot and then the rest, you know, stay normal. So you're not really, unless you can somehow figure out how to to tie your um, your th thermo or, um, thermostat to it, then you know it it'll just your heater will still run inside your house um so that's one of the setbacks um another setback is you know most houses don't really have you know southern exposure like this house does um but even on this house you know this has paid for itself it works great um there's been you know temperatures of negative 10 outside and um and and these things have gotten to like 80, 90, 100 degrees, and it's pretty amazing, you know, how the sun works. But um, I have something a totally different idea, and there's so many better alternatives to this. Um, the only way that this system really would work properly in like a normal house is if you had it pre built into the system before you built the house, because then you could pro probably duct the work in so that the heat would distribute it evenly. Otherwise, you know, you can kind of forget it because it just won't won't work well. The other thing that, the other setback is, is if you don't have this set up properly, you will get some heat loss during the nights because those cans get cold and they do the exact opposite <laughs> during, and, and they'll, they'll get freezing cold and and if it travels through your duct, you know, it's going to go back into your house. So your heater might actually have to make up for that heat loss um, during the night. So you might not be gaining anything. So um, that's just a word of caution. But unless you have the ideal setup um, or if you're just heating a garage or something, you know, these things, it's a lot of work to install too and to pipe into the house and, and stuff like that. So ideally, you know, before you go out and spend money on this system, I would um, just kind of learn, you know, or find out how your house is set up and how you're going to distribute this heat because if you can't figure it out, it's not going to pay for itself and, and uh, you know, it just won't, you won't be satisfied with it. Um, overall, I'm happy with the system. I, you know, it works great and everything, but I, there's just so many better alternatives to heating your home um, than this, and uh, I might try to figure some out that I'm experimenting with right now. So, um, anyways, it's a good system, but not ideal for everyone. Just be cautious. So, anyways, take care.